it's going to be a hard year, years to come. Even 10 years later, the images are unbelievable. I was dazed. I cannot hear it all. Hundreds of homes, schools, a nursing home, heavily damaged or destroyed. <laughs> and 15 families leveled. April 17th, 2013, a tragedy in West that could have been prevented, and experts say. It's a problem that's a very widespread way beyond uh, the state of Texas. It could possibly happen again. The basic issue is that that's, uh, the codes are not adequate. The root of this explosion, ammonium nitrate, an ingredient used to make fertilizer and highly explosive if the right conditions exist. That night. Most of these facilities are the, the fire traps that they are because they're old. A perfect storm. A fire broke out at the West Fertilizer Plant. The building storing the ammonium nitrate was wood framed with wooden rafters and a plywood roof. The ammonium nitrate stored in wooden bins even. No automatic sprinkler system either. And if there's a substantial pile, it can be a very big explosion. Dr. Vito Babraskas is a fire scientist and engineer focusing on fire safety research. He says there are still large gaps in ammonium nitrate oversight and regulation at the federal level. To this day, OSHA, the only regulatory agency with true policing power nationwide via inspection and fines, still allows the storage of ammonium nitrate in wooden buildings or bins. Sprinklers not required either unless there's more than 2,500 tons of bagged ammonium nitrate. This caused by just 30. The solution is to get these products out of combustible buildings and put them into non-combustible buildings. Texas did pass a law in 2015 giving fire marshals better access to inspect ammonium nitrate storage facilities to make sure they're safe. In the last 10 years, though, WFAA told by the state fire marshal's office that no fines or penalties handed out at all. Only that facilities make corrections when they were told to do so. No one wants this to happen again, but the risk, experts say, still high. In Dallas, I'm Matt Howerton.